Hey everyone. I don't know what it is, but Articulate has been on a roll lately. I don't know what they've been doing or they've been focusing mostly on developer types of customizations, but I love it and I hope they do more. And so I'm really excited today to talk about the ability, and this is something that drove me nuts because I've been, I've done sessions where I've gone to conferences and I've showed people how to do uh, custom JavaScript. In fact, you can check a lot of those videos out on my YouTube channel where I show people how to customize JavaScript and get more out of Storyline. One of the hardest things though, when I'm showing people how to do JavaScript, in order to preview the JavaScript is I actually have to publish it out and open it up, which has always been so weird to me. But luckily in this latest version of Articulate Storyline 360, make sure you download the latest, you can actually preview JavaScript right inside of Storyline, which is like, hallelujah, thank you very much. And so I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna show you how to do this. And if you watched any of my videos before, these are different examples that I go through. The first example, I'm just gonna do really quick just to show you how to add it to and preview it right inside of Storyline. So if I wanted to do a simple trigger, you can see right here when the user clicks, we're gonna go ahead and get a variable. And the reason why I'd want to get a variable inside of JavaScript so we can make some adjustments, do some complex math, and then push it back. But for now, let's just go ahead and get it, and we're gonna go ahead and alert it from here. So I'm gonna add on a line of code that is just going to be alert. So if I go ahead and just do open, close in parentheses, and then I just say, hello, world, which is your typical kind of phrase when you're first learning how to do any type of code. But I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to click OK there. Now it's going to happen when the user clicks on that button. So this is the part that's different. When I click on that button, I don't have to publish anything out. The JavaScript is going to run. So if I come in here and click on JavaScript, you can see that little alert pops up, which is like, hallelujah, this is what I've been waiting for, the ability to just preview JavaScript right inside of Storyline without having to publish out. Really excited about this. If I click OK, the other thing that you can do is you can inspect. Now, oftentimes when you're working with JavaScript, you have to like see if there's an error. If something doesn't happen, it's helpful to, OK, is there an error that's happening? Am I, am I identifying the right thing? And that's where you're using a console. A console usually... Any web browser like Chrome or Safari or anything like that have um, a console that you can see any errors that may be happening. So this is where Articulate was drinking their orange juice or something, and they thought, hey, we're gonna need this. Let's add the inspect window to this, and that's where we have our inspect window that pops up. So if I had two browsers, I could probably just drag and move this over, but you can see there is my console. I can also see all of my different elements. So I could even, oh my goodness, I could even go in and identify an object right within here. This is getting me excited. I can go in and identify the object right within here, and then I could, that's how I can uh, call the object to hide it or to show things. A lot of potential here. Again, check out my videos about how to do customization, but keep in mind now, even those those videos are uh, don't have this feature release, um, you could preview everything that you see in those videos. You could preview right inside a story storyline without having to publish out. So I'm going to go close this out real quick, and I'm just going to click on get variable information. Let's actually go back here and click on this. And instead of it alerting, and I'm working on a course of storyline and JavaScript, and it probably won't happen until like mid-year, but it is something that is happening and so hopefully if you're interested in it, let me know in this video below, go to my YouTube channel and say, hey, I really want that JavaScript and storyline. And that hopefully that helps push me a little bit more on that. All right, so inside of here, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get the player. So I have to talk to the player, which the player is the storyline player. And in order to do that, I have to have get player open close parentheses, and it has to be capital G and a capital P. And then I'm gonna say dots, and then I'm gonna say capital G gets bar, open close parentheses, and the inside of there, we need to, inside of quotes, do the variable name. Now the variable name does have to be exactly how you created it inside of Storyline, which mine's capital T. There we go. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to alert. And let me just add some spaces between these two. So this is really the new code that I added right here. So we're just gonna go get the variable inside a storyline and we're going to alert it. Now this is typically, and I have videos explaining how to get and set, 
This is typically how you would get information, work with it, and then push it back. So let's go ahead and just click OK. And then let's preview this right inside a storyline here. And so let's click on Get Far. So you can see that it brings me back 15, which I can then get that information, do a lot of complex math easier inside of JavaScript, and then push that information back to storyline. In fact, let me go ahead and push this back to storyline. Let's use this set variable. And let me make sure it's not misspelled there. But I'm gonna go ahead and say set variable, and we're gonna do the same thing. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna push it back to the player. So I don't have to do the alert. The alert just let me know that I got the information back. But instead, what I'm gonna do is say get player, open close parentheses, dot set var, instead of get var, we're gonna update the variable test. So we're gonna say in double quotes or single quotes, it really doesn't matter. Sometimes I kind of alter back and forth. But um, I'm gonna say variable test. After that, you can add a comma, and then you provide in the value that you want to test. And so let's go ahead and say set var to 20. So this could be a number, and because it's a number, I don't really have to put it inside of quotes. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Click OK here, and let's preview that now. So we know that get var works, but I'm gonna cl click on set var, and you can see that it's updated it to 20. Well, let's go back into here, and let's go execute JavaScript, and let's do, this is where we can start to do some complex math. So I'm gonna just bring this down a line here, and usually when you're going to do complex math, you need to have some type of final number. So I would have something like let's final num equal, and then this is where I can do complex math. I can do 100 plus, I'd probably wanna get the variable, the current value, but let's just say 100 plus 100 divided by two. You don't really have to do, I mean, that's a, not as complex as what you can get it, but let's just do that. And then we're gonna pass over that number, whatever that number ends up being, that's gonna be what gets passed back to Storyline. Again, check out my gets, my set um, variables information where I talk through that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and preview this now, and we're gonna click on set var, and you can see that 100 plus 100 times, I can't even remember, divided by two, whatever, I, 100 times 100 divided by two, that's what I got with 150. So that's the useful thing about this. I don't have to preview this out. I can go ahead and just um, do that right here. This is the other useful thing. Let's say I go ahead and um, add on some additional code like that, and I accidentally did that. If I preview this, I should get an error, and this is where the inspect window comes into play. So I'm gonna click on set var, and you can see nothing is happening. If you're expecting something to happen, either you're not pushing the information back or there's some type of error. Now this, if I go into inspect, and then I go into the console section, you can see right here, it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't tell me exactly what the error is, but it does tell me what line of code that is, which the user.js, all of the custom JavaScript that I create gets put inside of user.js. So that's why you're seeing like what line of code on, in user.js. So that's a little bit confusing, but you'll notice the unidentified letters. Oh, I need to clean that up so I can come back into Storyline. I can click on my JavaScript and sometimes you have to take it line by line, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of those extra characters here and then click OK. Now, if I preview it, I won't see any errors inside of the console. A lot of useful capabilities here. It gives you the ability to customize, to add additional JavaScript inside of Storyline. One more example I wanted to do is my get date example. And in fact, I'm just gonna copy the code here just to show you here. And I have this setting the background to different, um, different backgrounds based on if it's October, November, or December. I'm actually gonna switch this to, let's switch this value because I know Currently I'm filming in February, so I know it's gonna be two. So I'm just gonna switch this to two. I'll switch that to three and so forth. Even though it's gonna give me the October, last time I worked with this, it was the last part of the year. So I'm gonna switch this over to that so I can actually see this change. But it's also gonna give me the date here. So now going back to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add on a custom JavaScript trigger. And I explained the code in my video, so if you wanted to check that out, there we go. Now I'm gonna preview that, and let's just make sure that the the, uh, the variables get updated. Yep, the month, okay. 
So we're good there. Now I'm going to preview this. All right, I'm going to click on get date here and you can see that it's updated. It's just so much easier. I don't, maybe I'm a nerd, but it's, uh, this was, you know, having, I was the last dev learn that I was at in October, I had, it was a packed house. It was over like a hundred people or more. Um, and having to tell people to publish it out there was a lot of painful things where people were like, why do we why do we have to publish it out? Why can't we just preview it? And so to have this is incredibly nice, especially when you're working with custom JavaScript all the time without having to publish it out. You can preview it right here just to make sure it's working. It's a game changer. And I, I, I don't know if I need to send Articulate some flowers or something, but if I did, let me know Articulate, I can send you some flowers. This is a game changer. I am so excited about this. I am gonna to continue to explore this, maybe update some of my examples and talk about how you can work with JavaScript a lot easier inside a storyline. If you wanna keep up to date with that, go ahead and go to my YouTube channel, click the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you get notified of all future videos as they come out. That really helps my channel, allows me to continue to grow, to create these videos for you. And I really, my, my number one goal here is to help you become the best learning developer that you can. So if you wanted to see specific types of videos, say, hey, Jeff, I want this. I want, to, I want to be able to do this. Let me know in the comments below. That also helps the algorithm and uh, helps my channel continue to grow. If you did wanna check out more things, you can actually head on over to my website. You can see all of my previous blog posts here, but you can also check out free templates and download free templates and check out full courses covering everything from A to Z and Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Camtasia, Articulate Rise, Custom Scorm, and HTML5 video. But that's all I have for today, so thanks everyone, and I'll see you next time.